Okay, okay, we are back with more Taylor Swift. Um, no body, no crime, evermore. Featuring Haim. Haim? Pronounced high M. Haim. I was right, Haim. 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 Rock band from Los Angeles. Haim, I'm pretty sure they did a song with Kid Cudi uh, back in the day in 2012. Red Eye? I think it's Red Eye. Um, pretty, pretty cool song. Uh, produced by Taylor and Aaron Dessner. Nobody, no crime. Is an imaginative... Imaginative take on Swiss part on a true crime story. Oh, that should be cool. Um, see, I like that. I, that's how you should do a description at the top, you know, like give us a little insight into what the song's about rather than mean this is the sixth track off Evermore that was released in 2020. Come on. Oh, interesting. This is going to be interesting. True crime story, eh? Country guitar. Estes, a friend of mine. We meet up every Tuesday night for dinner and a glass of wine. Estes, been losing sleep. Her husband's acting different and it smells like infidelity. She says, I ain't my Merlot on his mouth. My jewelry on our joint account No, there ain't no doubt I think I'm gonna call him out She says, I think he did it But I just can't prove it I think he did it But I just can't prove it So they're, they're inserting themselves as the character Well, I guess they're not characters Because they were real people If it's a true crime story, right? But they're changing the names i guess to their names i'm assuming Some warm vocals. SD wasn't there. Tuesday night at all of garden at her job or anywhere. He reports his missing all of garden. And I noticed when I passed this house, his truck has got some brand new tires. And his mistress moved in. Sleeps in SD's bed and everything. No, there ain't no doubt. Somebody's gotta catch him out. Cause I think he did. To be honest, this story could be like applied to like so many different stories. I feel like the dude killed his wife and and the mistress moved in. That that's such like a, a very vague kind of story. But I like how she's adding the details and stuff, like what day of the week it was at Olive Garden. You know, he has a his truck tires got new. He got new truck tires and stuff. You know, um, Olive Garden. I've never been to Olive Garden. Home style Italian. Wait, they they serve spaghetti. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry, dude. I woke up at like 8 in the morning. I got enough sleep. I woke up at 8 in the morning and it's it's almost lunchtime. And it's like, it's time to make a sandwich or something, dude. Somebody's gotta catch him out. Cause I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it. Wait, wait. Was Haim, Haim singing the, the, uh, the chorus here originally? And then now Taylor's singing it, and Haim's doing the he did it, like as if her ghost is telling her that she that he did it. I kind of want to go back, but I don't want to lose the spot in the song. It is. I think I was right. He did Good thing my daddy made me get a boating license when I was 15. And I've cleaned enough houses to know how to cover up a scene. <laughs> Good thing Esty's sister's gonna swear she was with me. She was with me, dude. <laughs> his mistress took out a big life insurance policy oh come on that's fishy as hell super fishy they think she did it but they just can't prove it she thinks I did it but she just can't prove it no nobody no crime I wasn't letting up until the day 
Wow, that was sick. So what's the conclusion? He died? Did he die? Dude, that was pretty sick though. The singing on this was really nice, dude. They got that country guitar freaking harmonica in there, dude. Uh, that was sick. Uh, it's a return to Swift's country roots. Wow, yeah, it definitely felt country, dude. Um, instrumentals. And the credits include instrumentals from... Bonnie Light Horseman. So what, uh, is there some samples in this? So like, what's the story? Wait, is there some description here? How was this song created? What have the artists said? Oh, wait. It was pretty hilarious because it came after... Came about after I wrote a pretty dark murder mystery song and named the character SD because she's the friend I would... I have who would be stoked to be in a song like that. Um, you're not going to understand this, but this text from you. Which chain restaurant do you like best? So it shows Olive Garden. <laughs> okay. So, like, there's no actual, like, true crime uh, story that this is based off of. Like I said, it's a pretty vague one that could apply to, like, a lot, I think. When Harry Styles and Taylor Swift hit someone with a car and then hid the body together. Okay, dude. Be gay, do crime. They will never find the body. Bronies? Bronies? No. Stop. Queen of storytelling. Hailer vehicular manslaughter. Vehicular. I don't like that word. I can never pronounce it, dude. And that's how you get away with murder. I am the body. I can prove the crime. <laughs> what the fuck? Taylor invented investigative journalism. <laughs> okay, dude. That's funny. I think it was a really cool song. The singing was really, really good. The storytelling was cool with the little details and stuff. The production, I felt like that, you know, classic country. I enjoyed that a lot, man. Keep it elite. Keep. What will I rate this? I'm going to go like an 8-8. Eight, eight. I think it was really good. I think it was really good, dude. Uh, and I enjoyed it thoroughly, dude. So for me, man, 8-8. Eight, eight. Cool song, man.